Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series of Artificial Intelligence. Today our topic is Instance Relationship, Easy Relationship and Computable Function. I am your instructor Boomin Mandalia for this video lecture series of Artificial Intelligence. Today's outline, the topics we are going to cover up, that the first one is representing instance in Easy Relationship, second is Computable Function and its predicate and last is its example. So let us start with the first topic that how to represent instance and easy relationships. See, we had studied this instance and easy relationship in the topic of property inheritance when we studied that knowledge representation approaches. In knowledge representation approaches, second technique was property, sorry, second technique was uh, inheritable knowledge. So that inheritable knowledge we had covered up in the previous session. Now in instance and easy relationship, we did not use the predicate logic example for instance and easy relationship. So though we did not use predicates instance and easy explicitly, then also we had captured the relationship they are used to explicitly specially class membership and class inclusion. As we all know that instance relationship is called as class membership and easy relationship is called as class inclusion. Right. So see. Let, let us start the representation of instance relation. So following five statements can be written differently using instance relationship. Which are those five statements? The first one is Marcus was a man. So this can be easily represented by binary relation that instance of Marcus comma man. That means Marcus was a man. That means Marcus is an instance of class man. So that is why we have denoted that instance of Marcus comma man. Next is Marcus was a Pompeian. So we have denoted Pompeian instance of Marcus comma Pompeian. That means Marcus is an instance of class Pompeian. Okay, Pompeian is just like a class or we can say a province ca caste of Rome. Okay, so for example, we are Gujarati. So Gujaratis are Indian. So definitely I am Gujarati also, I am Indian also. So likewise Marcus was Pompeian. So it is just a province caste in Rome. Okay, now next is all Pompeians were Romans. So its representation is for all x, Pompeian of x, then it is Roman of x. Okay, so x is Pompeian, then x is Roman. Okay, next number four is Caesar was a ruler. So Caesar was a ruler, that means ruler of Caesar, that means instance of Caesar, comma ruler. So Caesar is an instance of class ruler that we have said. Next is all Romans were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. So for all X, instance X is instance of Roman, then X is loyal to Caesar or X hated Caesar. Right? So this is the scenario of instance relationship. So instance relationship can convert unary relationship to binary relationship. Okay. Next is representing representation using easy relationship. So following five statements can be written differently using easy relationship. So how we will be able to easy relationship. So let us denote easy relationship. So Marcus was a man. So see man is one class we can say and Marcus is one object of that class. So we can represent instance of Marcus comma man. Okay. Second is Marcus was a Pompeian. So instance of Marcus comma Pompeian. Next is all Pompeians were Romans. So all Pompeians were Romans. See now this is the class inclusion relation. Class inclusion that means Romans are also class and Pompeians are also one class. So Pompeian is a class, Roman is a class. So we can represent is a relationship using is a of Pompeian comma Roman because all Pompeians were Romans. So here we have represented is a relation. Next is Caesar was a ruler. So Caesar is an object, ruler is a class. So this is object to class relationship. So we have to use instance relationship. So instance of Caesar comma ruler. Next is all Romans were either loyal to Caesar or hated him. So for all X, X is loyal to Roman, then X is loyal to, X is instance of Roman, then X is loyal to Caesar or X hated Caesar. So these statements we have studied for instance and easy relationships. Now let us start with the next topic and next one that is computable function. So computable function and predicates. So 
Let's say simple facts like Marcus tried to assassinate Caesar can be denoted easily in, in predicate logic. Okay, it can be denoted like try assassinate Marcus, Caesar. That means Marcus tried to assassinate Caesar. Okay, so next is this is fine if number of facts is not very large or if facts are not sufficiently structured. So suppose we want to express simple facts such as greater than and less than relationships then gt of 1 comma 0 gt of 2 comma 1 lt of 0 comma 1 these are the computable functions that we have taken okay these are the computable functions we have taken that gt of 1 comma 0 gt of 2 comma 1 lt of 0 comma 1 so these are the computable functions that we have taken now see computable functions example let us start how this computable function can be solved representation of predicate logic by specific example so first is marcus was a man so this marcus was a man scenario can be easily represented using the uh, predicate logic that is man of marcus okay second is marcus was a pompeian so it can be easily represented by pompeian of marcus Okay, third is Marcus born in 40 AD, that means Marcus born in 40 AD. Next is all men are mortal. Okay, mortal that means uh, the one who will definitely die after some years that is called as mortal. So for example, we are mortal, so all men are mortal. So for example, all for all X, men of X then mortal of x okay next is all pompeians died when volcano erupted in 79 ad so here we can represent volcano erupted in 79 ad so first of all volcano erupted in 79 ad okay at that time all pompeians died so for all x for all x, listen everyone, x is Pompeian, x is Pompeian, then x will die in 79 AD, so x has died in 79 AD, okay, so all Pompeians died when Volcano erupted in 79 AD, so this is in the conjunction with this predicate. So here conjunction is used that is and sign is used because volcano erupted then this particular activity was performed. No mortal lives longer than 150 year. Now see listen everyone in this predicate we are going to use computable function which is the demonstration of today's topic that is computable function. So in this one we are going to use computable function. So for all x for t1 time and for t2 time listen everyone no mortal lives longer than 150 years so let's say x is mortal so mortal of x listen everyone mortal of x and and x born at time t1 okay x born at time t1 and gt of t2 comma t1 that means t2 is greater than t1 okay gt of t2 comma t1 so x born at time t1 okay and mortal of x x born at time t1 t2 is greater than t1 then we can say x is died at time t1 sorry time t2 okay so x died at time t2 t2 is greater than t1 right so t2 minus t1 
is greater than 150 okay so let's say x died at time t2 and t2 minus t1 is greater than 150 then definitely x is dead at time t2 okay next is it is now 1991 so we can represent now equal to 1991 alive means not dead so for all x x is alive x is alive then x is not dead at time t1 okay so x is alive at time t1 then x will not dead at time t1 so these are the computable functions that we have represented here that is gt likewise we can also use lt that represents less than okay so this is the scenario of computable function of greater than and less than right thank you for being your attention thank you students